Wow, we just got done celebrating a tremendous Taco Tuesday over in our Dub Club and Discord communities. Shout out to everybody out there who's a Dub Club member who rocked along with some of those winning picks. We'll take a look at those in just a minute. We're also gonna take a look at three picks that I've got for you guys today here on Prize Picks. My name's CJ Curry. If this is your first time here to the channel, guys, I highly recommend that you get subscribed, turn those notifications on by ringing that bell, and go ahead and do me a favor. Let's hit a like on today's video as well. Let's try to go for 400 or more likes. I think we could do it with your help. I think we can uh, absolutely crush that goal. Now, speaking of goals, in case you haven't heard, in case you've been living under a rock, the channel just hit over 20,000 subscribers recently. I just wanna send a extra special shout out and thank you to everybody out there who's supporting the channel in every way possible. Whether you're sharing these videos, the channel, whether you're just showing up and hitting the like button each and every day, I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody who's been rocking with me. Uh, I've been at this now for three years and uh, I, I'm gonna keep going. I mean, this is just the beginning. I feel like really the sky's the limit and I'm just really starting to get in my groove when it comes to this YouTube thing. So once again, just a huge shout out and special thank you to everybody out there who supports. Anyway, uh, let's do a quick recap on what we were rocking with on yesterday's Taco Tuesday plays. There was only two out of the three tacos that ended up hitting, but we made the most out of the two. This was one that I sent out to Dub Club members. We took Ja Morant for more than 22 and a half points. It was a sweat, guys. Let's be honest. All of us were on the edge of our seats, biting our fingernails. We were wondering if Ja Morant was actually going to get the job done. Well, good news. Ja Morant Taco absolutely hit for us. And I paired that with DeMontis Sabonis, over 21.5 points, rebounds, and assists. And I sent this out to Dub Club members. So again, Dub Club members absolutely feasted on this particular play. But that wasn't the only one. No, we took the other Taco, which was Steph Curry for more than 24 and a half points. And we paired it with, uh, we didn't pair it. We, we combined it with the mix of uh, Elias Lindholm, over 10 faceoffs one. Terry Rozier over 20 first half fantasy scores. Sidney Crosby over 14 faceoffs won. We took CJ McCollum for less than five assists. He ended up tying, pushing. And then uh, Devin Vassell for less than 24 and a half points and rebounds. He stayed way under that line. That was a plus EV play that we found on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer that was also projecting favorably. So we turned $25 into a 10X payout, making us $250. So once again, if you're not a part of a community yet and you want to, get, want to get access to even more picks, plays, props, and parlays, join my dub club for 67 cents per day. It's only $20 a month. There's also three month, six month options if you want to lock in with me for a longer rate. I've left a link for you down in the comment section. It's the top comment that's pinned for you. Uh, give the dub club a look. We're posting winning picks plays and parlays each and every day. All right. So you guys are here for today's picks. It's been a while. If this is your first time being here uh, in 2024, the first time we're seeing one another, well, happy new year to you. We're going to try and start this new year off with uh, a bang. Hopefully it's a good profitable video for you guys. Uh, starting with Sadiq Bay of the Atlanta Hawks. He's taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now this one uh, I have to admit, this one caught my eye here pretty early on. Let me pull in the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. We'll show you that this is definitely a plus EV play. And if you guys aren't using the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer yet and you want to get your hands on it, well, they've just signed me up for a special code, okay? Code Curry is going to save you 25% off your very first month. Link down in the description of today's video. Get your hands on this tool here. Let's refresh it real quick. We're going to just type in Sadiq Bey's name. And when we do so, you see that his points, rebounds, and assists at 20.5, he's got about a 53.76% chance of going over this line. So we need 21 or more points, rebounds, and assists for Sadiq Bay. So uh, you got to think of it like a weighted quarter, right? That you flip 100 times. About 53 to 54 times, it's going to land on one side, and about 40 six times it's going to land on the other side, right? 47, 46 times it's going to land on the other side. So that's how you have to kind of think of these. 53% is obviously not 100%. It's not a guarantee. It's not a lock. It's not a promise that he's definitely going to go over 20.5 PRA. But I'm going to show you some more information that kind of supports 
the over here on the points, rebounds, and assists. Now we're looking at props.cash. Again, another great tool to have in your player prop research arsenal. So uh, if you aren't using a tool like props.cash yet, check out the link in the description of today's video. Save yourself 25% of, off of your first month when you use code Curry. Uh, but taking a look at Sadiq Bey here at 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists, you see that he's gone over this number in 20 out of 32 games, which, you know, on its own is pretty good. That's a 63% hit rate. Now, things have really started to pick up and heat up here for Sadiq Bey over the last, like, 15 games or so. But take a look at what happens, because this gets really, really special, really magical when we take DeAndre Hunter out. Without DeAndre Hunter, here's what you've got. Sadiq Bey has now played in a total of eight games without DeAndre Hunter, and he's went over in all eight games. That's right. He's averaging 23.6 points, rebounds, and assists without DeAndre Hunter. Hunter is expected to sit out for Atlanta once again tomorrow against the Oklahoma City Thunder. So, Eight out of eight, 23.6 points, rebounds, and assists. I mean, we could look at splits information, but it doesn't really matter since he's hit in every single game. Here are the three games that he's played at home uh, without DeAndre Hunter. 22, 22, and 26 points, rebounds, and assists for Sadiq Bey. So, I mean, what more could you want? As far as consistency, it doesn't get any more consistent than a 100 percent hit rate as far as the matchup goes uh it's a decent matchup i wouldn't say that it's a home run matchup but you know okc they rank 11th in total points allowed to opposing teams 26 in rebounds allowed so hopefully that's an opportunity for sadiq bay to grab some boards as uh, that's one weak spot that we can exploit on this oklahoma city thunders squad and then they rank 18th in assists allowed per game to opposing teams so not a terrible matchup you know, but also not the greatest matchup in the world for Sadiq Bey. When we go and we take a look at the small forward position over the last seven games, we scroll down here and we find the Oklahoma City Thunder, and they're giving up a healthy amount of points, rebounds, and assists to the position. About 20 points, seven rebounds, and about five assists. So you kind of add those figures together, and you're left with about 32 to 33 points, rebounds, and assists given up to the small forward position. So as far as matchup goes, pretty decent matchup. Now, you know me, I like to uh, also check some projection models and uh, we'll do just that. We're gonna go over here to Fantasy Labs where we've got Sadiq Bey already pulled up. His projected points, rebounds, and assists is 22.6 on a line of just 20.5. So I could definitely see this one ended up, you know, at 21 PRA, maybe even 21.5 PRA by the time the ball get thrown up in the air uh, closer to tip off. So, I mean, right now uh, he's projecting very well. Now, I also went over to number fire and I pulled up a projection for Sadiq Bey there. You got him at, uh, let's see, 24.1 points, rebounds and assists, I believe was the number. Let's just double check our math real quick. We'll do it together again here uh, live on the video. 16.3 points plus a projected 5.9 rebounds and another 1.9 assists. Brings him to, yeah, a grand total of 24.1 points, rebounds, and assists. So he's projecting well on two different models. He's hit the over in eight out of eight games. I mean, why would we want to take the under on this particular play? It just doesn't seem to make any sense. I think the option for me would be either to fade it all together or take him for more than 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below if you're liking this Sadiq Bay pick. All right, moving on to the next two. Now, these next two are first half only options, which you can only find here on Prize Picks. So if you're not playing on Prize Picks yet, use code Curry, make your first deposit. They're going to match you dollar for dollar all the way up to $100, making your first entry on Prize Picks completely risk free. Uh, link down in the description. Get started if you're not playing on prize picks yet. So the reason we're going first half on both of these uh, following two picks is, is real simple. If you take a look at some of the game totals and especially the game spreads here, uh, starting with this first one, Dallas and Portland. Well, you know, Dallas is expected to beat Portland by 11 or more points. It's got an 11 point spread here. So we don't want to uh, take any overs from a game or from a player in 
in a game that you know might turn into a runaway so that's why we're going first half only which is a great feature a great luxury to have over on prize picks the other game is washington at cleveland now this one's got a nice total of 239 and a half points but again cleveland is a nine and a half point favorite suggesting that this game could turn into a blowout and things could get out of hand so let's talk about this first one here which is luka Doncic at 25.5 first half points rebounds and assists now i've got luka's charts pulled up here thanks to props cash and when we take a look at Lucas hit rates for the season 68 percent of the games that he's appeared in total of 31 games in which he's uh, been present 21 out of those 31 games he has actually gone over 25.5 first half points rebounds and assists that's good for a 29.4 pra average you see what he's done here over the last like 15 to 20 games. I mean, he's just been absolutely smashing this. Uh, he's gone over in 14 out of his last 15 games, averaging 34.3 points, rebounds, and assists. But hey, we have to keep in mind that Kyrie Irving is going to be back in the mix. So let's go ahead and do something kind of cool here with Props Die Cash. We can look at just the games with Kyrie Irving active and then we could also look at the games with Derek Lively active since we expect him to play and the games with Derek Jones active since we expect him to be out there as well now when we do that the hit rates do drop just a little bit they go down to 60 percent meaning he's gone over this number 25.5 first half PRA in 9 out of 15 games still averaging a healthy 26.9 points rebounds and assists but let me show you something here we've looked at home splits and road splits and on players in the past well we're going to look at the home splits because luca will be playing at home in this particular game and when we do so guys we've got a total of six games that luca has played with Derek jones Derek lively and kyrie irving in the mix and so he's gone over in five out of six that's an 83 percent hit rate he's averaging almost 32 first half points rebounds and assists in those six games so as far as him playing at home it's a favorable splits spot in situation for Luka Doncic in this particular case so let's go ahead and clear these filters out and just look at the head-to-head -head matchups against the Portland Trailblazers over the last two seasons this season and the previous season Luka Doncic has gone over in four out of five games against this Portland Trail Blazers squad. So head to head, you got to love the 80% hit rate. You got to love the fact that he's averaging 29.2 points, rebounds, and assists. And he does actually have one game in his game log from this season against Portland with Kyrie playing alongside of him. He put up 29 first half points, rebounds, and assists. And this was actually fairly recent, uh, December the 8th. So uh, less than a month ago, he did this against the Portland Trail Blazers with Kyrie Irving in the starting lineup. So uh, definitely capable of clearing against Portland. He's capable of doing it with Kyrie Irving, and he's especially capable of doing it at home. So for me, I think this matchup makes a lot of uh, sense here to take the over on Luka Doncic at 25.5 first half PRA. And like I said before, it's a good way for you to avoid what could turn into a runaway game, a blowout type of situation. And speaking of blowouts, as we uh, alluded to earlier, we're going to be looking at Jared Allen at 17.5 first half points, rebounds, and assists. So we're sticking with the PRA category. So let's head back over here to props.cash. Now, you're going to look at this and you're going to kind of be like, eh, man, that's kind of ugly, right? Jared Allen's only gone over in eight out of 28 games that he's appeared in. That's only a 29% hit rate. That's only a 14.5 first half PRA average. But, but what we have to keep in mind here is that Cleveland is without two of their key players. And we're going to use props.cash to illustrate why this looks like a better play. When you eliminate Evan Mobley from the mix, right? These are games played without Evan Mobley. All of a sudden, Jared Allen's first half PRA average has gone up to 17. His hit rates have gone up to 50%. But when you also take Darius Garland out, check out these hit rates. They got even sweeter, right? Six out of eight games, Jared Allen has actually gone over 17 and a half first half PRA. That's a 75% hit rate. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And he's averaging 21 first half points 
rebounds and assists. And when you take a look, take a look at the matchup here, he's going up against the Washington Wizards. Washington ranks 30th in points, 30th in rebounds, and 30th in assists, meaning no team in the NBA is giving up more points, rebounds, and assists to opposing teams than this Washington Wizards squad is. Now, when you go positional matchups, we take a look at the last seven games, the center position. We head over here and take a look at what Washington is giving up. Uh, 25.6 points, over 19, close to 20 rebounds per game, and a whopping six assists per game to opposing centers. So guys, let's bust out the calculator once again and add these numbers up here. 25.6 points, 19.72 rebounds, plus another 6.06 .06 assists. And let's go ahead and divide this by two since we wanna know how many they're giving up per half. Over 25 PRA given up per half over the last seven games to opposing centers. He needs 18, they're giving up nearly 26, all right? So there's a lot of wiggle room here, a lot of ceiling, a lot of upside in this given matchup for Jared Allen against this Washington Wizards squad. So, I mean, things are looking pretty good here for Jared Allen. Um, I don't see any reason, again, why I would wanna take the under here. I'm either leaning toward the over or more in this case, I wouldn't take the under. I would either lean toward the over, the more, or I would fade it completely. So those are your three picks in a nutshell. Sadiq Bey at 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists. We got Luka Doncic at 25.5 first half points, rebounds, and assists. And we got Jared Allen at 17.5 first half PRA. Are you liking any of these picks? How are you going to play them? Are you going to add three more to them? Maybe you make a six pick flex. You could add two more to them, make a five pick flex, go for 10X like I got last night for Taco Tuesday. Or you could take these three and flex these three and go for 2.25X. The possibilities are endless, guys. Let me know how you're gonna play them down in the comments section. I appreciate you being here. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit that like button on your way out. We will catch you in the very next video. Good luck on all your picks.